Hey everyone, it's your boy Roz Live is here, so check it out. Let's get straight into this. There's a heavily slept on indie, indie game that's out right now for the PS4 and the Xbox One. It's been out on here for these consoles for about a year now. Came out April of last year. And to me, I think it's the best indie game for consoles right now. It is really dope. And you, you guys should definitely check it out. I'm showing you some and some live gameplay right here of me playing it and you know let you guys judge and determine if it's worth picking up or not so anyway let's get straight into it name of the game is strike cur zero no my fault strike Z strike suit zero man yeah so um it's developed by born ready game studios and you can guess what the story behind this um game is pretty awesome these guys use a Kickstarter to get this game running. Can you believe that? Um, the, f the fun goal was $100,000 and they got it in about like November 2nd, 2012 and in 2013 they released the game for um, PC and now it's available for consoles and Androids and of course um, um, iOS. So this game is a really dope game. It kind of reminds me of Zone of the Enders. I'm not sure if you guys played that game, but it's a really, really dope game. Came out for the PS2. <clears throat> Excuse me. The game was released on, um, it was like early, I think it was like 2000, 2001 when Zone of the Enders came out. And it was, it came in, in like in the demo form with the game Metal Gear Solid. And a lot of people was like, oh man, this game is pretty cool, you know? You know, and then they made a sequel to it a couple years later. I believe in like 2003 or 2004 and that game was like one of the best games ever made like for the ps2 like it's crazy but it didn't get a lot of development the marketing was pretty poor and not, not many people knew about it you know they just released it and it was uh, still a great game it's just not, not, many people, not many people knew about it so of course a lot of people wasn't going to go out and buy the game if they don't know about the game they never see any commercials never see anything about it so the game came out and it, i mean it sold okay but it was nothing to um keep it you know, like a franchise stamp, you know, so it kind of it's been put back on the back burner and, you know, they've been, Konami's been saying, hey, you know, they're going to start it back up, but this hasn't been anything, you know, about it yet. But enough about that. It's about this game. That's what this game reminds me of about. And this game right here is awesome right here. This game is really dope. The graphics are cool. The soundtrack is dope. Got the little anime asian look chick you know humming in the background i don't even know if that's even true she's probably not even asian pardon me if i'm <laughs> you know i'll probably that sounds a little racist but i don't know it sounds cool to me i like it um so the game is you know it's futuristic you know um you you're in this like this little um this suit and like it can transform in and out of a spaceship as well as into like a um a human-like form with like you know to, to um better you know combat in space or whatever and this is dope man i mean i got you know i got the gameplay right here check it out you know it's really dope like you got like missiles you got um you get different little things you get to equip to them different suits got different things of course and um it's just pretty dope man overall this game is really nice i'm really feeling it i think it's heavily slept on um it was on the only reason why i got it was because it was on playstation network i had some cash left over for my um from my own PSN and you know when you're buying video games on your PSN you always gotta buy a couple of PlayStation cards to get the game that you want for taxes and all that crap and then you get stuck with a couple dollars left over you know like five dollars sometimes even ten dollars left over and you gotta you know spend that on something and you don't have to sometimes it just sits there but with me I didn't really have nothing to buy for these new generations so um especially at those price points where it was like a dollar two dollars ten dollars like in the PS3 era when you had like a couple dollars left over, that was pretty much wasted money unless you bought more. You know, and even if you bought more, yeah, you would have to buy more PlayStation Network cards just to get a, you know, enough money to buy a whole game because games wasn't cheap. You know, it wasn't like the lowest game price was like you know, twenty bucks, maybe ten bucks. You know, it was really nothing that was like five dollars, two dollars, a dollar, stuff like that. But anyways, on the PlayStation Network, um, this game was you know. On, it was on sale for um, PlayStation Plus members, so I decided to pick it up. You know, I had a couple of dollars left over and psh, having a blast with it. Great pick, dope game, 
and I really hope you know these guys could these developers and the makers behind this game can really make a sequel to it because this game is really really fun now I know it's not for everybody some people's like man I'm not into that space futuristic crap you know I'm more into shooters first-person shooters and you know I mean it is what it is. that's your prerogative that's cool but guys you gotta you gotta support these indie guys you know especially when they make good games because I'm getting tired of seeing the same games over and over everybody is just you know doing first-person shooters or trying to emulate and take something else or steal something it's just like man let's try something new you know and this game is that you know so you guys should definitely try to pick it up and support them just to see what it's like you know if you have a friend that has it see if they'll pick it up or if you want to see more gameplay this game I can keep uploading more gameplay and then you know you guys can make your decision from there you know if that's cool I mean just let me know in the comment sections or whatever and say hey you know we want to see more of it before I make a decision that's cool too but um you know I'm just showing some this is in the beginning of the game I'm nowhere near the end so I'm not spoiling anything but it's pretty fun right now in the beginning of the story mode you um you're like escorting the ship to towards this area and then all of a sudden you get sidetracked you know it's the, the, the story is kind of you know cliche it's kind of like you know like the way they draw you into the sh to, to the um until this um this this suit the strike zero suit so it's like you know it's kind of cliche it's like hey you got to get into it if you want to have a you know a successful shot against your enemies or whatever and you know obviously you take it and you pilot it and it's pretty much you know strongest strong as hell and then you know going from there and that's pretty much how it goes i'm still in the beginning stages of the game and i'm really still loving it The, um, the controls though, I, I, I give this much. The controls is a little, like it's good, but you know, the invert camera and everything, a lot of the stuff is kind of default. You can't really change it and you don't really have that much control on how to like control it. It's not really as smooth as a game like Zone of the Ender or something like that. It, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's just kind of hard to do what you want to do. Like you, you, you know what you want to do, you know you want where you want to shoot, but it's hard to like get it because you got to move both joysticks in order to get your shot placement. So that's why you see me like aiming and it's kind of off and I'm not totally, you know, aiming correct. I mean, it adds a, some type of challenge to it because it is challenging. It's not a really easy game. I'm playing on normal. The enemies definitely be getting on you and you got to move around and try to evade them. But um, I just kind of wish that it had like a little more you just had more control over it, you know? But nevertheless, it's still great, still fun. I'm, I'm still having a blast. It's not something to break the game, but it's something that they definitely can improve on if they decided to make a, a sequel to this game. I mean, just look at the graphics, the colors, everything. It's just really dope, you know? Like, it looks cool. Doesn't it look cool, guys? Like, that looks nice. <laughs> like, I really like that. And for an indie game, like, it looks really good. Yeah, this is um some gameplay. I'm not gonna let the video go too long. I don't want to get too long, but um, if you guys like it, you know, let me know and I show more gameplay. I have no problem uploading some more stuff about it. But um, that's pretty much how I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, if you're new around here, you know, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I see you guys in my next video. All right, peace out.